You know Klaus Vormann, because we were talking about the Beatles and Revolve. He did the Al Revolver album cover. Yeah. Even though he played with, you know, Lennon, of course. We're not going to get a close-up of no, that, though. No, because this is visual radio where we just get a close-up of me. Because <laughs> I'm the, the Access TV legend. <laughs> um, I met Klaus Vormann, um, I, I think it was two years ago. I, uh, you know, time. Oh, recently? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was way back when. What, what they did is there was a German uh, production team, a film company, and they, and they decided, because, you know, Klaus is an icon in Germany. He was, his story is, he's such a cool guy. He's like 76 years old. He's wonderful. He's an incredible artist. I mean, just, but he met the Beatles on their, I believe, their first trip to Hamburg. And he was like the first guy to, to start hanging and recognize. The genius that they were just, there was something incredible about them. And he, and, and he became good friends with them. He lived with George and Ringo in, in, in like 64 in London. And he joined Manfred Mann and became a bass player. And he's the bass player on uh, You're So Vain. That he little, is? Little, 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 yeah. And he's also the bass player on um, like um, uh, Leon Russell uh, tracks. Uh, all the John Lennon, uh, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr stuff. Obviously not Paul McCartney, because he's a bass player. But um, they decided to do a documentary about him as the artist and the, um, and, the, uh, and, the, and, the, and the musician. And it's called All You Need Is Klaus. And I really recommend it. And I, I was fortunate enough to meet him. And we, would, uh, we, we sat around and did some uh, playing. And they filmed it. And actually, some of our jams were later used as uh, underscoring to the documentary. And it was like, wow, that's really cool. So... You know, we were jamming on some, like, Imagine, and then it, it segued into a scene about John Lennon talking about Imagine or Klaus talking about the first time he heard the tune Imagine. So it was, it was, it's a really cool uh, documentary. That's very nice. Yeah. So that was two years ago. And you worked on the Julie Taymor Beatles movie, um, and that was called Across the Universe. Yeah. Yeah, mostly what I did was... Um, got together when the actors were working. Uh, the thing that I found fascinating is uh, when, when she um, conceived the, the movie, it was basically uh, getting in a room and like it was a play. I mean, really acting it out, not just getting on the set and, and, and shooting. It was like they really figured out, because there's a lot of dancing and, and um, physical stuff in that movie, if you really notice. And so that timing was actually worked out. And we helped um, kind of uh, with the pacing of the songs because to make the songs, because it's kind of like a, a musical, uh, the movie. They're using the songs to forward the, the, the storyline. So she had to conceive of, like, for instance, um, I Want to Hold Your Hand is done as a ballad. You know, and it's a, it's a, it's a girl singing the song to a... Um, another girl uh, off in the distance and they wanted it to be a certain kind of feel and also all those kind of things are throughout the film where they would change the feel of a song or or end the song because the lyric would go off to something that didn't mean anything to the the film or what have you so it was, it was a pretty interesting project 